10-year yields coming in on these comments from Clarida. Let's get to Steve Leisman. Steve? Yeah, Carl, thanks very much. Richard Clarida, the vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, who uh, is one of the leading monetary policy experts on the committee, saying policy is not on a preset course. The committee is deciding what to do with rates, quote, meeting by meeting, echoing language that the chairman used last week. He said the Fed will act as appropriate to sustain growth. Uh, another note, he says the Fed's bill purchases, which are growing its balance sheet, should not be considered to be uh, quantitative easing. Overall, though, he says the economy is in a good place. And the outlook is favorable, but he does note the following risks. U.S. economy uh, if confronts global growth weakening, disinflationary pressures. Uh, fixed investment from businesses declining and manufacturing is weak. Two other speakers today, Robert Kaplan, the Dallas Fed president, saying it, quote, may be wise to take more time before deciding whether to cut again. And Esther George, the Kansas City Fed president, saying the economy does not require rate cuts. Carl, the issue here, I think, is whether or not to take Clarida at face value, meaning he really is neutral, or the market tends to think of this as, you know what, he's not leaning against where the market is priced. Therefore, we should go ahead and expect that rate cut. So it's an interesting question as to whether or not uh, Clarida means to guide us this way or that way. But in the actual language he's using, he's very neutral about what the Fed's going to do at the end of this month. Yeah. And then Kaplan used the word agnostic. I mean, are you having doubts about October, Steve? Um, I think it's it's more in play than I believe the market is priced for. I, last I checked, it was at 83, 85 percent probability of a rate cut. There's a bunch of stuff between now and then. Uh, there's durable goods. Uh, there's the ECB is going to meet. Interestingly, Carl, the problem for the Fed is a lot of the stuff that it would really want to make that decision happens either on the day of where you get ADP and GDP <laughs> that day or a day after, which is the jobs report, or two days after the jobs report, or in the most important case of all, the Chi Trump meeting or the potential meeting on trade is two weeks after. And I don't think anything right now is more consequential for what the Fed does than what happens on the trade issue.